Hello, I'm Alex Compton with Luminescence Photography in Pahrump, Nevada. I'd like to share with you a few pointers on taking still life photos. Still life is predominantly anything which is inanimate, any type of inanimate object, whether it be something dead, man-made, or even a living thing such as a plant which is basically stuck into a, in one spot and cannot move. Unlike its animate counterparts, it cannot show any kind of emotion or feeling. So in order for us to give a tone to our picture, we create that mood, that emotion, or that feeling by the use of several factors. One is the use of lighting, or the absence of light. One is with color, or the absence of color. The other would be with the creation of texture and softness. So usually with the inanimate objects, I suggest that you use some kind of an ambient lighting. Ambient mean, meaning basically it's some kind of a filtered lighting situation. It's not necessarily always the case. Sometimes you're wanting to create something in a very harsh light. It just depends on what you're photographing and what kind of mood and tone you're going to set. If you're wanting to show something stark, you use stark lighting. For this particular example, I'm going to use something which is creating kind of a soft and rustic feel. So what I'm going to use is a little bit of natural filtered light coming through a north face window so it's somewhat steady, okay, and it will create a soft shadowed effect on the subject matter. So here I've opened up the north face window. And I've already got set up what it is that I would like to photograph. In this case, I'm using an old rustic apple cart or apple crate with a few silk flowers, sunflowers, with a simulated milk canister on here. It's a plain background. I've tried playing with different things in this particular situation. I didn't like the look or the feel of it, so I've just stayed with the, the one. But you can see we now have a soft shadow coming through the soft window. There's another more harsh shadow, but the angle from which I plan on shooting, that one is going to be hidden behind the view. Just to give it a little bit softer look, in this case I've put a warm reflector off onto the side, and it's giving it just a minimum of bounce, a little shed minimum of the yellow color in this, just to give a little bit more of that warm tone that I'm going to look for in this rustic picture. When it comes to this, you're going to also have to make sure and adjust your camera settings accordingly. We're not going to be using a flash. It would kill all the ambiance and change the whole mood and make it a completely flat and dull picture. So we have to make sure that we're going to have enough light in on our meter when we set it. So we have to do a few adjustments. We might have to take a couple of tries, but that's the beauty of digital is you can do that to test it out if you're not quite an expert yet on just what kind of settings you have to have. So here I'm going to go ahead and take my shot. In this case, I'm kind of coming down and creating a nice little view look over here and getting a little bit of angle to the shot. I'm getting different textures off of the flower and off of the apple crate. 